Hello and welcome everyone to today's next episode of the Admiralty's Registry and today we're gonna be having fun with this little tiny thing behind the docks which is exactly a yacht, that's right, unpunished privateer and today I'll be having fun with that little thing telling you basically everything we know about it and how we can use it, what's the purpose of the ship so let's get started. This is really a glorious looking ship with lots of decorations. But let's first start with the little historical background. Everything we know about the ship. So it's pretty much a DLC ship, but you cannot purchase that DLC, it's uh, hidden. Uh, the only people that have that ship access to it is the players that pre order the game. It's like uh, people that used to play back in the day of the Sea Trolls. Uh, right now, I'm gonna read the description of the ship that's, uh, that was presented by the devs when they introduced the ship. So let me let me read what it says. The yacht. It's a pre-order bonus and it provides elegance, luxury and dynamism, delivering the futuristic 19th century visual statement. She sets the highest standards for the aesthetic appeal. The very incarnation of the Dutch chick, the yacht is more than a ship, it's a way of life, reserved to the, for the gentlemen who want to sail with style. The ship was designed by Frederick Chapman and decorated by Italian painter Adriano Barra. Specification of the ship, armament 4 pounders or 6 pounders cannon, uh, cannons, carnate upgrades will be determined after sea trials. Speed up to 15 knots in favorable winds, displacement up to 90 tons, optimal cargo hold will be determined after sea trials, two officer per uh, slots, three permanent upgrade slots, materials oak, redwood, peach and gold. Of course, the second part of the description is outdated, it's uh, really not up to date, so uh, everything has changed since then. But um, look at the ship, it's really well decorated. I pretty much, I would say the, the most decorated and great looking ship in the game is the yacht. And uh, I would actually, it would be actually hard now to compare it because we've got Christian VII, which is also extremely well decorated. Uh, so yacht and Christian, well, in theory, Christian is also yacht. It just it was a king's yacht, a bit oversized compared to usual yachts. But let's get to the topic of the ship, of this little ship. Um, let's start with the equipment. It's going to be very simple. It's just one deck, no bow chasers, no stern chasers, and as it was introduced, it can only equip either 4 pounders or 6 pounders. So that's a very, very low caliber of guns. The same as basic cutter. Coronate limit is 12 pounders. So also the minimum size of the coronates. And 12 pounders are really bad. So I would not use them for the ship. So let's go. Let's equip the 6 pounders, long cannons. So we've got. Uh, Oops, I did not meant to do that. Let's just destroy that. Yeah, I forgot I can actually click here to equip the gun, uh, the, the, the permanent upgrade. Uh, my bad. I, I'm used to dragging stuff, so I'm not really uh, that much used to the new UI yet. Um, so, back to the topic. The guns, pretty much the same as basic cutter. Um, the upgrades, let's talk about the upgrades, what would be good for the yacht? So considering that the ship is pretty much, well, has lots of jeeps, three jeeps on a bowsprit, one spunker sail, and pretty sure it has uh, one or maybe two main sails, I'm not exactly sure, we'll have to see in a combat. Uh, so yeah, it's a one mast, so it's pretty fragile. Uh, if you, I mean, it's risky to sail ships that have just one mast because if you get demasted, you just go straight from 100% to zero. You're totally immobilized. About the upgrades, 
Yes, 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 yes. If we want to equip Yacht, I have some basic upgrades, nothing super fancy. Uh, then I would go with Pirate Regraphite, because that's going to benefit the speed of the ship a lot in combat. It gives us the Mass Physics Jeep Sail Force 10%. The main sail force is negative 10%, but considering the fact that the ship doesn't have many main sails, it's not really going to affect us much. We're just going to be slightly slower downwind, uh, if at all. So, that's a really good choice. If you want to go very fancy for your exclusive ship, you can use Elite Pirate Regraphite. That's going, that's going to even benefit much more. Uh, considering the very small caliber of our guns on yacht, it's a good choice to use the ball figure rattlesnake for better penetration and something really basic and cheap to you know help us in combat. It's going to be basic cool rapid. Uh, basically, it will just give us more HP without losing any speed, without any speed models. Uh, of course, you can use some more fancy stuff like, uh, for example, some speed mods. Uh, copper plating navy hull that would be really awesome for hunting traders to make the ship much faster uh, you can also use if you want to go like really hardcore uh, by that i mean fighting bigger targets you can use some mast mods so pinocote uh, frendrick elite french and so on or even winged out ballast to give you a little bit more hp of the masts and uh, if you want to go hunting a lot in the ship it's really good to use some boarding stuff so i don't have any ship knowledge yet it's usually what's used for boarding but from the permanent you can use nassau borders or nassau fencing masters and so on or some musket stuff that we've got lots of new musket mods okay now to the statistics of the ship the speed turn rate crew and everything else it's pretty much the, all of that is if I'm not mistaken, it's exactly the same as a basic cutter. So that's like a, a clone of the basic cutter that has just different sailing profile, different look. That's it. I mean, the sailing profile is actually totally different. Uh, I will show you right now in the middle of the screen the comparison of the sailing profile of the Lynx, Yacht, Cutter, Privateer. Uh, and based on that, you can see that Cutter totally outmatches Yacht in sailing abilities. Yacht is just faster, performs better at two angles. Um, and compared to Lynx and Privateer, Lynx and Privateer beat, uh, really beat Yacht in any angle, pretty much. So, that's really not the best performing ship, but it can really win competition for best looking ship. So let's move farther on. Uh, I think that's all from the uh, this topic, like uh, the numbers, 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 upgrades, and so on. Uh, now we can move towards the combat, the more interesting, more pleasant part of the video. Okay, so I've got a mission. Uh, not here. I've got a mission. I've got lots of missions everywhere. <laughs> Just taking missions wherever I can. Uh, I just do them at a time. I have uh, some ship around. But in the Bahamas, we have a kill mission. Pretty easy. Target 1 7 freight, max load class 7 freight. It's not a reward for the balloons, mission chest. But let's give it a shot. So let's leave. Uh, I forgot I don't have repairs. Good point. Good point. Thank you, game, for reminding me. Uh, let's. Oh, I even found fish. <laughs> okay. How many repairs would I take on a yacht? I would take like 10 hulls, 10 rigs, and some rum, which I don't have, so I will not take any rum, sadly. Okay. 10 hull. I can actually do more fancy stuff like that. Yeah, still getting used to that. Okay. I don't have rum. Noticed. Duly noted begin our journey. If we find any players on the way, we're of course gonna, you're of course going to try to attack them. Uh, some traders or even combat ships, but other than that, we'll probably have to sail towards that mission. It 
saying from Little Harbor should take us about five minutes, I say. The wind is not the best, but we can take a look at the sails. So I, as I mentioned correctly, it has three jeeps that are pretty large, has a decent sp size spanker sail, and has two square sails on the very top. Which is a bit confusing because even though it has two main sails, it's performing worse than in the Nekater. I would really question that. In my opinion, yacht needs a much better sailing profile. Having a better look at the ship, you can see some um, paintings over here. Uh, I'm pretty sure there are uh, sort of a religion topic, religion theme. The gun ports of the ship are circle and uh, as a circle and uh, also decorated with gold which is making it look really nice fancy windows on the side of the stern below the deck two windows on the stern at the rear also we can see a crown over here right little rudder and the bow figure. Let's take a closer look at the bow figure. Yeah, it's a female covering its breasts. Uh, there is. Let me take a closer look like that. Mm. It's hard to take a good look in open war because of the moving right now. I'm not sure what's the bottom part is meaning, but maybe someone smart in the comments can. Uh, say that I think it might be something related to well, of course to some nation or or to some sort of a state or a dynasty most likely having a little bit better look at the ship decorations I'll do it once again in the combat you can see the nice cannons sticking out of the uh, these uh, circled uh, gun ports openings pretty much only a few ships in the game have that sort of uh, gun ports we can see that on a weapon on the very 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 top weather deck of the weapon and uh, yacht I do not recall any more ships that have the same gun ports and it looks really nice here's the side painting painting presenting them just some children with the grain or just grass harvesting by the look of it the nice windows on the stern and here is pretty much the same what's on the other side okay anything more mm, let's take a look inside over here there is a steering wheel uh, looking really nice uh, the cabin yeah I've got a table and a <laughs> table and a chair here nice and a chest by the look of it maybe it's not it looks pretty simple could have looked a bit better as a chest but uh, I will not complain that's a little detail there's a window at the top on the roof of the cabin and uh, we do not have any way to control the uh, the rudder over here I've seen a project of a yacht that actually had here that I think it's called Tilt but I'm not sure uh, and of course the lamp on the stern okay let's get back to the con to controlling of the ship are these players or just AIs? AIs. Looks like all of them are AIs. That's right. Um, I will show you guys also some pictures somewhere during the video. Not sure exactly at which point. Could be now. Uh, the plans, the models of the ship that have been presented on the forums by the developers. And I will also show you one of the paintings that's uh, presenting a different yacht 
but also very similar design to this one. Um, from what we know, the yacht was designed by uh, Frederick Chapman, but the ship was actually never built, actually never saw a daylight. From from what we know, it's nothing can confirm 100%, maybe it was built at some point, but uh, uh, there are no entries or um, information that we could find about that. So it's really hard to confirm that, maybe at some point someone will find uh, a proof for that, but uh, at this point this is just a ship that was in theory, just created on a paper, never built. Okay, we are passing La Desconocida over here at Danish port. And we're getting close to our mission, which is just right west from La Desconocida. We have a good favorable wind for the yacht right now. It really loves sailing upwind. That's a, a, a sort of a type of a fore and aft ship. So basically a ship that is performing uh, the best upwind. So that's really a good ship for hunting some small traders. Hit and run. So it's going to be not bad for fighting lynxes, trade lynxes, privateers. Pretty much the ship of the same size. Um, then we have a traders no traders break. These sort of ships can actually run away from a yacht downwind. So if the player is smart, they can easily get away from yacht. So the yacht does not have many purposes in the game, or possibilities what it can be used for. Uh, it of course can be used for PvP, but you will have to equip it with very good stuff to make it go fast, to make it sustain lots of damage. Because it's pretty squishy, or you can always use it for some fancy stuff. Like, uh, let's say you're going on a trade run. Sorry, not trade run. You're going on a business trip. You're trying to buy a ship for uh, five million reals, a gold quality ship, and you dispatch in a in a yacht, so it will look. It will make you look more professional, like a businessman. <laughs> of course, I'm, you know, giving here lots of role play addition, but uh, that's one of the things you can use a yacht for. You know, because for prestige, because there is not many other uses for it. We could see some PvP file over here, or maybe it was PvE, at least including player on one side. The battle has closed. It was US. I did not have a chance to check BRs, so what sort of ship it is. We're not going to wait outside. That would be uh, a waste of time, in my opinion. So let's continue towards our mission. And it's right there. We can see that the battle swords, kill mission, max group size, 6 maximum load class, 7 freight. Bingo. Let's stack the wind. In a battle, I will be guys presenting you how you can handle the ship. Uh, there is not really much of a manual sailing uses for the ship, but I will show you some basic actions you need to take in certain situations. And uh, well, I will just try to show you as much as I can the valuable information about using that ship in combat. I would believe that I'm already in the range of pulling, but okay, here it is. Let's get started entering combat. And there we go. So, first look, we need 8 crew on sailing, which is very little. 36 crew on gunnery. Mm, so, pretty much, well. I believe that's the same as on a basic cutter, but I have no clue how much basic cutter needs crew on sailing. It's probably the same for the gunnery, but I would believe that basic cutter has would have some spare crew on boarding. Anyway, you can raise the sails extremely fast because it's a 7 freight. Uh, of course, depowering is going to hide all of the jeeps. You still keep the spunker sail. And the two top main sails. Mm, 
what else? What else? The guns are placed very close to each other at the front of the ship. There are actually no guns at the rear, so keep that in mind when you'll be aiming at something. Actually, aiming things feels much better in this ship because of the fact that the guns are just so close to each other and pretty much all of them are in front. I'm not sure about the fire rate. I will, I will see because different ships have different fire rates. By that I mean that some of the ships fire their guns faster from front to rear because of their placement, or some of them fire them much slower. For example, the Hercules used to fire guns very slowly because of their placement. So you'd have to slow down really a lot when passing ship from the opposite direction and uh, really adjust your speed. Aiming is not so bad. It's actually, I think, better than in a cutter. There is not much stuff on the side covering my view because in the cutter you will see some rigging, some ropes and stuff which is really disturbing when you're trying to um, when you're trying to shoot broadsides actually looking at the manual sales it is pretty interesting because I can control my spanker not many ships can actually control the spanker sail so we can actually do some more fancy stuff with the manual sails controlling the yacht. Uh, that's right. The rear mast I can control. I mean, it's not mast, but sail is the spanker with the Z and C keys. And the front one is just the, the main sails at the top. So, just in theory, if I want to use manual sails on a on the yacht, it is possible. Downwind, I uh, don't feel like I can increase the turn rate of the ship by using the manual sails. So that's really nice because I will have to check that with the cutter. We'll see in the cutter episode if you can do the same on the cutter because before you could not control your spunkers. I think that's something that was introduced at some point, but I just don't remember that and did not notice that because I don't use uh, six freights that much. Uh, we're facing right now people, so it's uh, pretty much similar class, similar HP and firepower. We've stern wrecked the ship and we've destroyed two cannons. That's one of the things when you're using the shallow ships, small six freights and seven freights, they can lose lots of cannons on the stern rakes and. Use, losing cannons on these ships will hurt your firepower a lot because right now on my left side I have just five guns out of six total and that's already a big chunk of my firepower that's already one sixth of my of my firepower lost there so it's good to avoid getting stern rate what else well with the lungs the accuracy is very very nice the heal is not so bad, so I can get clear shots. Sadly, no stern chasers. But one more thing that would be really nice to test. It looks like the yacht has a bow sprit, uh, pretty high. It sometimes it's uh, it's just a feeling that you have a high, highly placed bow sprit, but. It's not always, you know, like that. What I mean by that is basically, if my bowsprit is will get destroyed on a collision with a pickle, for example, or a cutter, or a private or other ship, that's a very important ability or characteristic of the ship. Sadly, but you know, bowsprit is very important, especially on a ship like that because it's pretty much like. 50% or yeah, I would even risk saying 60 to 70% of your sail power just on that little bowsprit and the moment you lose your bowsprit you lose that 60-70% of your sails. I'll try to call it of the pickle to see if I will lose my bowsprit but it's just turning turning little annoying AI so I'll focus now on shooting. With the rattlesnake, ah, uh, the heal. I shot water and <laughs> killed some fish with that. 
with the rattlesnake ball figure, my penetration seems to be pretty good. I'm not really bouncing on the shots on my people. Getting clear shots all the time. I can probably load double war for some more damage because I'm not really damaging it much. Thanks to my live oak, oak, and very sturdy trim and basic cool, I'm not really receiving lots of damage from pickle. So my ship looks very healthy, I don't need to use any repairs. Now we just keep shooting in the sides until it gets weak. Yeah, the heal on the little, little ships. Heal and waves. Actually, the heal on that yacht is not. It's not so bad. 5 degrees, 3, 4. This is what we usually receive on our end. 6, 7, 8 degrees. Oh, okay, downwind. In it increased uh, quite a lot. But the biggest factor when it comes to using the ship in combat is, uh, uh, is uh, waves. The waves in relation to the ship size are... Oh, I might get bored if I use a bow sprit. Yep. That's not good. We need to keep going, get the boarding prep. Keep going, keep going. Uh, um, oops, oops. They have marines. I think we're in trouble. <laughs> so my collision test with Pickle ended up with me losing a mouse sprit. Which I did not expect to happen considering the side. Luckily, they cannot attack in the last second, they have just 58 preparation. So I can stay on brace for the first round, and I should be able to survive that. Grenades, 1 to 1, no difference. Still getting uh, higher prep in order to disengage. Looking at the ships. My bow speed should definitely not break. Look, it's so high, it's much higher than the pickle. I would consider it really broken at this point. I will have to defend in last second. Okay. It's using musket bullets. I'll just brace. It's just 13 preparation. So I'll be able to brace now, disengage. Is disengage. I do not have any preparation, that's very risky because if I lose all of my preparation, I cannot defend, I cannot switch anything so they can use attack. But in this particular situation, they have just 19 preparation, so he's not able to switch to attack either. At this point, he is, but I can switch as well with the 16th prep. Well, in the first seconds at least. There he goes, tech guns, that's gonna hurt. Already three out of four, he cannot attack again. He has significant crew advantage. I was actually wrong about the sails. I mean, the jeep sails are extremely important on the yacht, but surprisingly, I keep one of the jeeps because of the it's placed so close to the beginning of the bowsprit. I keep that one little jeep. And I stay at 72% sales, which is impressive. Because I'm pretty sure when you lose a boss on a yacht on a on a cutter, you end up with like 40-30% sales. Last round, the fake one, I like to call it. He's attacking, I'm bracing, but that, that's already the round that disengage takes place or effect. We need to turn on uh, sailing. Put all of the crew on it, turn off boarding, let's get some speed. Well, without the bow speed, the ship looks pretty funny. But thanks God you keep that jeep, that really big, big jeep. Because thanks to the jeep, you do not lose all of your sailing abilities upwind. Double ball penetrating at angles. Uh, let's repair our sails. That's going to be best for us. And let's deal. Let's deal with that ship very, very fast. At the end, I will show you some more tricks with the manual sails on that ship.
loading double here as well. Sadly, I don't have any RAM. It, it would really come handy now. But oh well, I can't really, you know. I could not really equip my ship with RAM because I didn't have any import. Okay, using some double pull right now, preparing the pickle to show its side over here. Testing shot, properly aimed, getting all of the shots, even put a leak. Leaks on these shallow ships can be very deadly. I mean, one leak is not going to kill it, it might actually fill with a little bit of water, but three or four leaks can be dangerous. Or even, uh, that could be a death sentence for a shallow ship. I'm serious here. These ships do not have strong pumps and they have also low crew. You need crew for survival to fix the leaks and you need the strong pump to uh, manage bailing the water. So try to avoid getting leaks whenever you see enemy is trying to shoot low or in general he's trying to shoot a broadside. It's better for you to depower to control your heal. Okay, loading double ball over here. Let's get the left side loaded first. It takes little time to load, but six expanders are loading relatively fast. And to be noted, I don't have any skill books. This would greatly reduce the loading times, like for example Gunner Encyclopedia book, or Old Flag Officer or Instruction Our Cannoneers. So I'm saying just a vanilla ship without any skill books, uh, which might seem a little bit uh, weak, but with the addition of the skill books, uh, the ship would be feeling much much better. The turn rate of it with ship hunting for example, and so on, with all of the other fancy books. So I've got the right side of the pickle heavily damaged and the plan is just to stick to the right side. It's pretty smart to just uh, damage one of the side, focus one of the sides of the ship instead of the just shooting uh, all of them because it's just going to be much more efficient and faster. To get proper elevation of the ship instead of just depowering you can actually ev even stop by just turning your sails parallel to the wind, even with the power up. I was even reversing at this angle, which is pretty impressive. But yeah, you can basically use that to stop entirely, break quickly or even reverse at uh, angles like that. Testing shots, shots landing correctly. I've got a sail and crew heal as well. Okay, need to use Skipper Auto. Another thing, um, it should not happen really, but sometimes you might, you might get in the situation like this that you get like totally stuck against the wind. Your ships will be just turning left, right, more or less, trying to be placed correctly. You will get negative speed and you might have problems getting out of this situation. The best way to get out of this situation is to Put your front, the, the main sails against the wind, deep power to get more negative speed. You can also put your spanker against the wind and just use your rudder to reverse out of the ions. It's not so hard to get out of the ions in the bigger ships, but on the small ships, players tend to totally. Uh, not understand how to use manual sails with that thing. Most of the time they do not get stuck, but when they do, they're in trouble. Nice two double ball broadsides placed from like a range of 300 meters, so the bow figure rattlesnake is really helping a lot. We shot the left side, we're turning now quickly to shoot the other side. I have a turn of gunner to finish my sail repair faster. My bad because my repair is already over so I've got just two bolts loaded now but I will wait for the reload what can I say well my ship is pretty slow overall because it's live Vulcan Oak flanking and it can sustain lots of damage 
but it's performing really nicely and I really love looking at the ship. I love the decorations, the paintings and the gun ports, it looks awesome. So the ship does its job very well, it's supposed to look good. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's pretty much the most important thing about the ship and the key factor. Its combat performance is pretty much the same as basic cutter, but it's a big big difference. Looking at basic cutter is really annoying, you just see basic cutters everywhere. You just, you just, they just look so casual and normal, and some players even hate basic cutters. Players using cutters to transport good stuff, using cutters to scout, using cutters to uh, travel between outposts. Cutters have like thousands of uses, using cutters to farm AI in patrols and so on. So yeah, I can understand why players tend to hate cutters a lot. Huh? There goes the wave hit again. But uh, if someone uses yacht, it's a totally different story. The ship is really eye candy. It's pleasure to look at the ship and you do not see them often. So players really get excited when they see Yacht. It's pretty much the same ship as Basic Cutter, more or less, with some minor differences. But it's just so big difference in how players receive the ship, how they look at it and uh, how they actually not hate it, even though it's almost the same. Okay, depowering to get clear shots. Maybe too high. Oh, the wave screwed up the world side. Yeah, that's pain in the ass when you have these big waves. And it's not even a stormy weather, it's just a normal weather. Back in the day when you had storm battles, ships like that would just be really hard to use and handle. I mean, it's a miracle they would not capsize in a storm, but uh, shooting with them was really bad experience. Thanks God, Pico is actually a very very big target. We're gonna have a video about Pico, I will talk a bit more about that, but Pico is basically high in the water, so it's relatively easy to hit it. Compared to my ship, it's medium I would say, uh, Lynx and Privateer being the lowest ships in the water. Of, of course, like, gunboat but like I would not really you know compare the Lynx Privateer uh, Pico and Yacht and Gunboat to each other because these are different class of the ships actually I'm, I'm one thing I did not try yet as I haven't seen how battle sails look on a yacht so we're right now in battle sails Basically, we're just hiding that one jeep, the lowest one, and we're hiding the highest mainsail for some reason. But uh, we maintain lots of sails on our ship, so we don't really lose that much speed. And that means basically that going by battle sails, we can turn much faster. Battle sails increase our turn rate. We just hide two sails so we don't lose much speed, but we gain lots of turning. I can really feel the difference, how much better now my yacht is turning. The bow figure, really, really interesting. So whoever knows any, any informa anyone has information about what's the bow figure and the, the crest on it, I would really appreciate someone mentioning in the comments what's that. Let's prepare for looting. Let's go into a full stop. I do not want to get boarded again. By that pickle. Let's actually how, see how that slow looks like. This is basically that slow. So the bottom jeep and the spanker. We know the battle sails. Let's test slow. 
it's basically slow of the uh there's really I don't think there's any difference between uh slow and battle sales in terms of a speed. Because if you look at it oh so many regroupers, oh god. If you look at it, uh battle sales don't have that bottom jeep, they have the higher jeep. Slow has the bottom jeep and I lost my boss in a shipwreck. Nicely done. But no, and I don't go to the rigging shock. But they have the higher jeep. So that's the difference. Okay, let's leave. And that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments your opinions about the ship. Your what do you think about it? If you would like to get that, if you would like devs to give us a chance to uh, get that ship somehow. And that's it. 999 reels. Almost 1000. <laughs> See you later guys in the next episode.